my YouTube friends. It's Birdie here. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Casper and I were doing a journaling by fives, and if you don't get my camera turned sideways to do that long view, uh, if you get it turned this way, it chops half your picture off. So when we came back from supper, I didn't make sure it was going this way, and it was actually still turned this way. So our books didn't get clear in view. And we were so strung out on MSG, we didn't even notice it. So I'm doing a quick flip through of my finished book since you couldn't see it on that last segment. And Casper is sending a copy of her finished book uh, video. So we'll put them together, show them before that last step video. That way, uh, if you don't have patience, <laughs> if you just want to listen to us gab, great. If you don't have patience to see our books chopped in half, then uh, you can just look at our finished books at the beginning of the video. Okay, enough said. Here is my book. Uh, Casper used full book with book pages. I used a junk journal with my, well, you can't really see, with my, eh, I've painted over it, with literally junk, like coffee filters, maps, envelopes. That's what I used for mine, and I kind of bound them together, sewed them down the center, and anyway, that's how I did mine. So, here we go. First page. I got two tuck spots here for tags. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some cute glitter on it. Next page. I have a little page here you can write on for some journaling. I don't know if you can see. It's just fun. Got a little piggy piggy on it. And I folded a couple pages down. So I have a couple more glue that down. No. A couple more tuck spots for tags. I made this tag out of a playing card. Another cute page. A little, uh, you know, lined paper folded in half in there. Another, boy, I must have been in the double tuck spot mood, huh? And this one here, I already had in there. I had uh, tried stamping on some material and then sewed material in there and stuff, so. Another little area that you can journal on. I wish you could see the little spray glitter. It's my favorite part. I think that's going to be my, what do you call that when it's somebody's stamp? I don't know, my calling card or whatever you want to call it, spray on glitter. I just love this image of this lady making her biscuits or pie crust or whatever she's doing. I love it. And then I had enough time to start a second little uh, signature. Mind you, my focals aren't always brilliant like Casper's because... She finds her images on the internet, and I just rip mine out of magazines, so they're not always the greatest images. Another tuck spot that I have possibly glued together. I'll work on that later. And that was the end of my pages. So there you go. A flip through of my journaling by fives. Thank you, Shannon Green. You are brilliant. You have saved my creative life and my way of thinking. And bye-bye. It's Casper here, and I'm back in Missouri. Bertie emailed me this morning asking me if I can make a video of my book that we did for our previous video. Mine didn't show up and she wanted all of our guests to see my artwork, if you can call it that. I had done this book previously at a sister's event, all but the last beginning and the end of the book. So I went ahead and finished that. Bear with me now. As you can see, I did a little envelope and I love Halloween. So I did that second page in Halloween. And I'm still not done with it. There's some little things I'm going to add. I had a couple beads on there that fell off. I added that little crown for the chicken. And 
there's uh, still some things I want to add, but um, I have to, it's kind of an ongoing process until one day, I guess, it's so stuffed you can't do anything with it. I want to add it X's and O's because it said, um, sisters forever. Alright. I added the boo up there. I know this isn't its own. I added this little ribbon. Like I said, there's still some more stuff I want to do to it. And this is the back. And I'm not done with it. I need to put a focal point here and add something else to that page. But this right here and this, these two pages are what I worked on at Amy's. Now I got a new book started and I just did a few pages in it. I did that. And I have to, I'm not done with this at all. I have to uh, add some stuff. I've got good friends, a little girl and her dog. And this one, I had a card underneath it. It was something about the outdoors and it stuck to the other page. So then I added this and I really like this better. I found these out of a Native American magazine that sold stuff. And I like buffaloes. My camper's Buffalo Moon. I always try to put a, and I have to fix this. I've got some um, medical tape, that adhesive tape, and I'll. I'll McEwen. Her imaginary buddy. And John McEwen. <laughs> and my favorite group. Well, I like the old Crow Medicine Show too. Nitty Gritty Dirt Van. Will the circle be unbroken? That's kind of, I don't know if that's tonight or tomorrow night or, or the next episode or whatever. We're taping it because I'm busy over here entertaining my friend. I thought that May the Circle Be Unbroken was like the Carters and the Cashes. Um, it was, but they did the um, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band did a um, Will the Circle Be Unbroken album and have all the uh, um, people from... Um, uh, you know, Roy Cuff and, and then... Oh, them. okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have some huge focals. This, that was just crazy of me not to look. That's why I got that, pardon me, bigger book. Because uh, um, I had some big focals and I wanted to make sure that I had, I, I, you know, these little that's books, they're too big, they're too small. Good idea. So that's why I got that bigger one. What's that sound? I don't know. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay, let me go into over here. What does it sound like to you? It sounds like a road grader. Something like that, yeah. On a Sunday? It's some kind of machinery. Yeah, but I'm not sure. It's weird. Oh, you know what? I bet I know what it is. What? That farmer man across the road. Yeah. He comes over and does his... He has huge, you know, the big equipment. Yeah. I bet that's what he's over there in the field, I bet. And I always, I, I kind of want to see what I got and so I can kind of match the background or something or another. But then you forget, you just get lost and forget what goes where. Yes, this is true. I can see I'm just kind of kind of Are we like 15 minutes over or did we start the timer? I feel like we should be done. Three minutes and 58 Wow. Yeah, but I still have a lot to do. I don't. Do me help you? 
Yeah, yeah. I got sulfur one. You know, I think it would be fun to do that Shannon Green thing where she has people do yes. the first 15 minutes yes. in their book and then pass it to yes. the left or right. Yes. We need to have a um, party. You coming here or hey, am I going there? I'm done. Shoot, I'm cleaning I'm not, up, girlfriend. I'm not done. I just, Come on. I know proper English sometimes. I need some words for these. Uh -huh. You're done already? <sighs> Where on earth did you find a buffalo? Um, yeah, right. That's all I got is buffalo. <laughs> My camper is buffalo moon. <laughs> Wouldn't be complete without some orange, orange cardboard. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm a patriotic person, but for some reason, I hate red, white, and blue. Yeah. I don't know why. It well, just bothers me when things are red, so white, and blue. I knew somebody had a, a, a patriotic bathroom in red, white, and blue. It was kind of pretty. I think I get bored of it. I think I would like the country, red, yeah. white, and blue. But oh, yeah. Sometimes I just end up gravitating towards those three colors in a picture, and yeah, it doesn't sit easy I, with I me. I tend to gravitate gravitate to orange. <laughs> yes, yes you do. And it I don't looks know good. And look, I don't like pink and look at that page. Yeah, yeah, see. But see. It, see I got all these focal points to do. It's okay. Take your time. I see you've taken my brush, but I'm not gonna oh, get personal. Brush? Okay. All right. I'll share. Oh, you have a certain brush? Yes. Why? Because Lori Marie does. It's oh. baby blue. Oh okay. Oh yeah that's right. Re tell me about that. And here I grab it. Oh, it's all right. right. Some things I don't like people to touch, like my chainsaw. Yeah. But I'll share my paintbrush. Man, some of these, I think it's time for them to go. Their paint is sticking. Typewriter small. I'm kind of getting. Oh, you know what this says? What? The autobiography of a bird. Oh wow! Yeah, that's neat. Look here, ta da! Negri Dirt Band, yay! <laughs> I had this at a Cowtown Ballroom um, uh, uh, guide when they were down. At my house, so I cut all these little old, or that was on here, all the little hand-built things. Do you think that they tell their um, security guards to watch for you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that one time. There's always that one crazy fan that's that kind of makes them Missouri, nervous. I didn't spend the money to have, or to get to get the um, bracelet so I could go backstage, but there was a piece of. Um, there's a newspaper clipping that I had that I wanted to show um, John McEwen. So I walked back there, brave-like and everything, and the, these girls that I won't mention their names or where they're from, they they didn't like me. And <laughs> they didn't like you going past the barriers? So they, they told on me, and they, as they, cop, the cop, oh, time up. Cops came over and escorted me out. And John <gasps> says, "Oh no!" He said, "He said, let her come back here." He said, "That's all right." Oh my so then gosh. I was able, to, I was able to talk to him, and um, because he knew who you were, or just because he felt sorry for the fans. I think he knows of me because I've been to enough concerts. Right. But um, I told him, you know, what I wanted to do, and so um, he, he he talked to me a little bit and took the thing and said thank you. So, and um, to to my not, yeah, they probably weren't very happy. But, hey, it looked, whoa, time's up. I'm stopping it, and we're going to get ready for detail while she finishes this up. Well, we are in the last leg of this journey. We are on the words and, I don't know what it's called, the detail version, where you can put words on, stabilo around stuff. Just finish it off. Tracy has... Pretty much MSG, got her words. MSG we're, we, we went and ate Chinese, and we're kind of 
<laughs> funked out with MSG or something. We're not all here. More than normal. So just hang in there. We're going to make it. Can you scoot over this way a little bit? Okay. I need you right here. Okay. All right. All right here we go. And you know what? Screw the timer. We're just going to finish. Okay? Because we're, we're wore out. Oh, shoot. What should have taken us an hour and 15 minutes has taken us like three or four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shannon, we are after you. Okay, I need a brush. I need one. I don't want to taste the blow. Okay. Oh, look at that. See, it's, I want to tell you something. What is your favorite utensil of artwork? A Stabilo. Stabilo, yes. It is to artwork what mascara is to your makeup. That's right. It finishes everything off. That's right. I will say that a thousand times. That is what I believe. Oh, man. It's going over here and knowing that all this is wet again, you know? And I have to keep it from sticking. That's what I don't like. We've decided that... For your first, if you overthink, for your first couple of times, you should do the journal by fives with a timer. Because that will get you in a mode to where um, you, you won't be thinking things through as much. And then um, we decided that what we're going to do from now on is just go ahead and, and do our journaling and I mean we'll keep an eye on the time a little bit but we're not gonna be under a timer because we both now are to the point where we can uh, um, uh, not overthink things and yeah I better shut up no that's yeah. true and that yeah. way you can take your time and glue your pictures on well yeah. because we use the glue stick and we've spent the last hour going through and re-adhering you know, what the glue stick didn't hold on with the uh, matte gel medium. So if we weren't going by the timer, we could have taken our time and glued them on the first time. Yeah, true that, sister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we absolutely love the concept because we are both overthinkers and there's no way we would have been this, this far along had we not learned about no. journaling fives. No, we wouldn't have been sitting there staring at stuff and uh -huh. picking another picture up and putting it down and putting, putting something up. And, oh, up I don't and, know what colors I should yeah, choose. And, yeah, yeah. Does this picture go with this? Yeah. Should I stamp it or stencil it? We didn't have time to think about all that. Nope. But we started out at about two or three, and it's now eight or nine. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are going to watch this thinking, oh, it was only an hour and 15 minutes. No. Two to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It was seven hours to do a journaling by fives video. <laughs> but there was a Chinese run in there. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yes, yes. And I would like to thank my special guest star, Casper, for coming and playing with me. I cannot tell you how much this means. We don't live, we don't, we don't live close together. No. We're about five hours apart, and it's too far for Soul Sisters. Yeah, yeah. But if we did live close, we probably have to just do this a couple days, because if I oh, yeah. if I stayed up till one o'clock in the morning crafting every day oh yeah like we have the last two days yeah 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 we wouldn't get any wash done would we no uh -uh. you guys well, it worked I keep kicking my leg. I had it a little saying for this back. Shh. 
shoot. Well, I had a saying for that last page. I don't know where it's at. Well, just look what that does. Look how, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It really is. Yeah. I just, I absolutely love it. It's definitely a necessity. And, uh, yeah. Do you buy, have you bought, have you gotten any? Gotten any what? Um, Stabilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you, did you order them online? I order uh, Amazon. Yep, Why? that's the only place you can find Why? it. Why? I don't know. Why does Hobby find, Lobby, have they not it. picked up on that? I don't know. Can't find it at Hobby Lobby, can't find it at Walmart. Or uh, Michael's. Nope, uh-uh. You can only get it through. I accidentally order. ran across some at Michael's, but they were blue. But yeah. they never carried, even carried black. Yeah. Now, how do we make this we shiny and sparkly? With the sprays. Okay. Well, I thought I sprayed mine already. But I don't know. Yeah, I, have to, I sprayed. Did you shake it up with the glitter, get it going? I don't know. Because these are real glittery. It, it should be with the... Yeah, I'll have to spray it over again. Okay. I'm done with my words. Now all I have to do is Stabilo. Is my Woody over there? Yeah, your Woody's here. You want me? You want the skinny one? I can no, use No, you can use it. I can use the Woody. Okay. I don't think I, I... Well, maybe Woody's on Amazon, too. I guess it is. I didn't know they made a Woody. Arms are sticking to the paper. My fingers are sticking together. you've had fun when you're stuck together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That woody really gets wide. Yeah. Well, we're you want, just... You want to use this? going to go with the flow. You want to use the little one? No, because you really need the little one. No, here, I'll try to use the just you, just use the big one for around the edges because it's just too... No, I'm going to do it. I can do it. Too much around these little words. I'll go around them real quick and then give it back and then I can spit and smudge. No, I bet you $5. I can, it's a workout for me. Okay. Bet me $5? Yeah. I didn't bet you. You hear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think that it, it, it you're better off to take your time and glue everything down with Mod Podge or whatever that medium is that we were using. I don't think a glue stick, especially with it, my corrugated cardboard and all that other stuff exactly. I use. Exactly. I'm kind of running out of steam, so I didn't put anything. I don't know what to put down here. My, I'm losing my creative juices. Yeah. We definitely exhausted. But that could be because we've just had a filled weekend. Yes, we have. It just, not, just, yeah, just, it just magic and you got a card. It just, it just all, um. It just amazes you every page you finish, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to get some of that, um, yarn that you got, that fuzzy yarn. Mm -hmm. Can you buy that at? Um, that's neat. 
Oh yeah, yeah. anywhere. I don't. I got. I had got it from a friend. Yeah. Gave me. It's neat. She had rolls and rolls of it, and just let me roll a little ball off yeah. of each one I like. That's neat. My 93 year old friend, Nani. Oh, really? Yeah, she knits uh -huh. scarves. Okay. And she, I don't know how she knits those things. You know, with that hairy yarn. Yeah. I don't know how you can tell what's. No. What's not, what not, when not you're that knitting? Hairy stuff, yeah. When I go home, I guess I'll have to go up to Hobby Lobby and make a, because I'm not as fortunate as you and have good yard sales. I'll start watching. When I see stuff. I got some spray. I'll have to get uh, some um, spray. I got some spray at home. I now, think. do you have a Tuesday mornings? Yeah. And I go there. That's a good place to yeah. find that spray. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it there. Yeah. And I went there and I, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. I was out of the mood, I Well, guess. I know, the reason why I don't have that spray is because I noticed a Hobby Lobby, it's like $6 a bottle. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But I, I noticed mean, at I, I, uh, Tuesday morning, Tuesday mornings, they had a set of like six oh, really? for nine. Yeah, I need to go up there again. I, 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 yeah, I need to go up there again. Okay, one book complete. Right. Working on the second one. But when I see stuff at yard sales, whether I, you know, even though I'll go, oh, well, I've already got a bunch of paint, I'll just grab it for you, knowing you need supplies. Okay. I don't, yeah. I, I pick up old things like office uh, grid paper. Yeah. Old ledgers. Do you want those too? Um, well, I don't need, I just need, I don't have all the room. I just need a few sheets and stuff. Well, then you just take a few of mine home. Because um, I, I got one of those things um, with all your boxes. I got that, except I got so much junk in it, it's so heavy, it's it's leaning, it's leaning to our pizza. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all my kids' stuff when the grandkids come over. It just, it just amazes me. <laughs> Every single page. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> How much of our spit is on these books? Oh, I can't, it, I, yeah, that, <laughs> I used to spit, yeah, but man, I OD'd on that last night. Did you really? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> so have you been using it. water all this time? Yeah, I started using water. I kind of felt sacrilegious because. Because <laughs> you were using water? Yeah, but, um, yeah. Water for a spit and smudge? Yeah, but I, I started. Yeah. I feel like the water gives me too much. What is all this under me? Oh, this dang paper. I am just sticking to it. There may be a bath in my future. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't want to. I know, I didn't want to either. But... Shush. You would. You just, no, I didn't. But you I, bathe whether you want to or not. Yeah, but most time, yeah. It's just like a semantic. It's like a baby's pacifier before bedtime. Yeah. Like my husband is with his fan. Oh, I have to have a fan, too. Lordy. Yeah, see, I've been without a fan, except on my... my you need to take this fan in tonight. No, I, I just put my air conditioner on. on. I had a fan, and I put my air conditioner on my phone. And it, it's noise. I just never even knew that stuff existed. Yeah, I just read I have that one I, called, uh, an app called Calm. Yeah. And it's got like waterfalls. Now and look at this, just look at this. Just look it's at this. just amazing. I want to tell you something. 
because I thought I don't really like this page. You know, I, I what kind of you know it's neat, but but yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, and you haven't even done any like detail like with your buttons or whatever no, you like uh -uh. to do. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. I like to doodle, but I'm afraid I don't know how to do now. Some people take and they'll like they would sew around that first with yeah. a zigzag. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, and yeah. then glue it on. Yeah, I, I I don't know. My mom's got a sew machine, but I don't know. And I don't have. I guess I have room. I wish I knew how to sew. I used to know how to sew. But Eighty dollars at Walmart. Really? And that thing does a hundred different stitches. Yeah. Flowers and vines and zigzags and, and I've got a free flow foot on it so that you can do this you know yeah. just make scribbles oh, yeah. yeah I, and I can't but I'm not can... shopping at Walmart anymore yeah yeah I don't blame you I don't like in Walmart I'm boycotting either. did you find everything you needed today and, and it doesn't no. matter if I you tell them no they I don't say, care I say no oh that's I too bad it. it'll yeah. be 84.95 yeah yeah and then and I told my mom I said they better not check my bag because I'll let them have it. I'll tell them, you know, you shouldn't worry about me. You should worry about the people that come up and say, well, I can get this at the other store for 10 cents and this one for something else. And, and they don't even check. The, they just give it to them for whatever they t tell them. I can't believe that. My girlfriend told me that. And I said, I said, I cannot believe that. And she said, no. And, and, and then I got behind somebody at Walmart and they did it. They had a whole grocery bag, a uh, uh, grocery um, thing full, and they had a paper, and they said, "Well, this is it, you know, um, Kroger for this amount, and this is a Country Mart for that amount." Well, and they used to make you bring in the flyer. Yeah. Well, they don't do now. They they don't do it. They just take your word for it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, and so they very never stopped me and asked me to see my receipt. They did though. They did for make sure I paid for the dog food or whatever. I've been looking for piggy hay, guinea pig hay, at the Andover Dillon's, or Kroger, for the last three weeks. And I go in there two or three times a week. So it's not like, well, I didn't go on Thursday when they, you know, stocked the shelves. There's been no piggy hay in there for three weeks. Oh, really? Uh-uh. So I'm not quite understanding that one. Yeah, especially when you need piggy hay. I know, i got to have piggy hay. Our stabilo needs to be sharpened. I can do that. And I had, a, I don't know, I forgot what it said, it was something about outdoors on this green square and it stuck to my other page and it peeled off and I, I wasn't I, I was upset because I liked that um, saying but then I had this little thing and I put it over it and layered it over the green and it kind of really turned out better than what it was before yeah see I have a whole box of stabilos do you really I just don't know where they're at Oh no, another thing? Yeah, an entire box. I mean, they're here, I've just organized. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's them right there. No, that's a pit marker. Yeah, I bought a, t a box of 12 of them. You'll find them.
sure would be nice if I could find them when we need them. Yeah, yeah. Now see, if I, was, if I wasn't videoing and I was taking time, I would probably, on this one here, it's so busy, yeah. I'll take some paint and just kind of whiten oh, it all up yeah. around that. I think I've seen you do that on one of your other videos. Or I've seen yes. somebody do it. Yes. I've yeah. done it before just to kind of make the, the focal point pop. Yeah. And then um, sometimes after you do you know do this you don't really I don't really pay attention then when you go back and really look at it it, it says go where you feel most alive and then down here it says some people want a big house a fast car and lots of money some people want a tiny cabin in the woods away from those kind of people and it just fits it right goes together. together and yeah. I didn't plan it that it's way. amazing yeah yeah and even on your book that you did down at uh, Roaring River some of your words look like they were just meant to be with that picture yeah, yeah, because I had a, I don't know, oh, still, oh, still, the faint bark of dogs that go softly, and there's a dog. Yeah. And Lucky Silver Mine, it says good news. And you and cut the words out in the pictures, but did, I don't think you just meant for them. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. You just happened to grab it yeah. for that page. And then it all works out. It's an ex it's amazing. expression. That's why it's art therapy. She's got her head off of her shoulders. And some of them I don't have words on. Yeah, some of them I just like the, the yeah. even the background. Some of them I just like the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see. And what's, you know, I was thinking, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Well, it's like, um, what is it? Life's a journey. Or the just, what is it? Life's a journey. Or the journey, uh, it's the dust, or not the, the journey, but not the destination, or whatever. So you can just keep. Oh it, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm MSG'd. Um, yeah, but, you so truly you, are. So you can, uh, um, yeah. I mean, you, 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 I'm sure you get it done eventually, but you don't have to rush it. So I'm gonna have to fix this. Yeah. I would like to start leaving little writing spots and just say something yeah I whatever too. i was maybe feeling that day that i did that art journaling set yeah to see yeah. if it maybe yeah. had something to do with how it turned out yeah because a lot of times when i come out here and tinker well, sometimes I just need to get some paint on my fingers. If I don't have it, yeah. I just miss it. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'm just feeling something. Yeah. I just need to get out here and get it out. And art journaling helps me. Well, now since I'm retired, thank God. And, uh, I, well, I, I don't know. I think in the wintertime now, because um, I'm kind of busy doing a bunch of nothing but in the, winter, <laughs> in the winter time and 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 i'm pretty organized in my crafts and stuff so i think in when it gets colder I, i'll sit down and 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 do this then, right you know you can't get out and go for yeah, your walk yeah, or whatever yeah and that's what i did you know one of my art journals i did when dad was in the nursing home and I would go up there and I wanted to be with him, but you know, I drive 30, 35 minutes to go see him and then he's asleep. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to turn around no. and leave. I'm going to sit there till he wakes up. Yeah. So I would do this yeah. while I was just waiting, watching him sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And I only had what was in my little bag, so it was quite a yeah. challenge. Yeah. And that art journal, I've seen some of your stuff and it's really neat. So for you might, it must have had a big bag or. No. Um, just that a little blue carry yeah. bag looked like a big purse and my only paint I had to use in it was watercolor oh yeah I got some watercolors I haven't done anything with them yet well I've seen different you know I've seen a video on watercolors and making cards and all that and but um, this is this is where it's at for me mm -hmm. I, I like the art journaling or, or, or and the tags and the making the dangles and yeah 
and that's where, yeah, that's where it's at for me. That's where I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing something. It's amazing how we all have our little niche that we yeah. we find that we enjoy. I mean, enjoy. some people like to sew and stuff like that, but yeah, uh, some uh, people yeah. like to do the old time, the other, you know, the scrapbooking. Yeah, yeah. Now look at that. Just I, I don't know. <laughs> Every single page amazes you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah well, I mean, this one's good too, but um, it's got your bird, your nest, and eggs, and not all who wander are lost. And and I don't know what I'm gonna put over here. I'm just not happy with my focals. I need to get cooler focals. But I really just want to use it. What about? But I could just use my stuff for the background. You know, those background pictures we glue in just for color. Yeah, yeah. And then I could get some cooler focals like you do off the yeah. the web. And that's, yeah, that's really what you need to do. Um, and I got files, and when I need some, I just go print them off. And I go through magazines. I don't really go through that much. Well, like this one was at an Indian magazine I got. It had clothing and stuff, and they had three or four of those. And I thought, oh, those are kind of neat. Did I already go around this? Yes, I did. MSG, MSG. MSG, MSG. The Chinese restaurant in Augusta serves MSG. I didn't really think about that, but. It used to give me a headache. Yeah, I never, I never really even. But now it just makes it. me feel drunk. Okay, I need to watch how you're doing yours. That stick out like a sore thumb, my little orange square. So you don't care. You let it go over in here farther, and you don't care. Uh uh. Uh uh. I just I need to pull mine over further. Chubs is it because some mine kind of looks like it's just a big line. It's not like grunging up inside. Okay. All right, I'm complete. No, I'm not. One more page and I'm complete. I'm sure we've passed our 15 minutes, but oh, we yeah. enjoyed our yeah. visiting, our fellowshipping. Yeah. Well, like I said, you don't live that far away, and I'll, I'll come a couple times a year at least. Well, I can come in the winter to see you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Because I'm off. Yeah, well, we got first week of December. And, and, yeah, and so see, if it gets bad weather or something, you might just be, you know, for a day or two, mm -hmm. but um, it, it's going to clear up. So, yeah, we go see John Two Hawks and and um, go see Liverpool Legends. They're fun. And they got a John Denver one I've been wanting to see and never have. I've only been, lived there 25 years. and. Is it like people... It's, it's, a, sound like it's a guy that sings John Denver songs, and he's supposed to be really good. And the Liverpool Legends, they're good. Did you, you really listen to Barbara Streisand? You asked me. You had yes. her? Yes. Yeah. I love her higher ground yeah. because yeah. it has some spiritual songs on it, and I really like them. I like Barbara. I, mean, I, I, really I, like like I, I, like Barbara. I don't, I don't know have any music. possessed her to do spiritual songs. Oh, yeah. I do remember. Somebody did a... Uh, interview with her and she said she went to a funeral now leave that out because I'm going to and it. they sang higher ground yeah and it really spoke to her heart yeah. and so she decided to do a spiritual album and put that, that on there I didn't know that yes. my aunt really likes Barbara Streisand I don't have any albums I like Andy Williams oh my mom liked Andy Williams I love Andy too. Williams I got, I got his I like his Christmas music I like his just I'm just spraying music. glitter on here, people, because you can't see it from where you're at. It's adding a little bit of a yellow tinge, but I don't care. You got one that's brown? 
let's see here. Let me see what I got. I'm afraid it might tend you too dark. But we'll see. Okay. There's a dark one. Hey. There's a dark one. One's kind of a pink tinge. I want it brown. Okay, give me, yeah, I, go ahead and bring green. I got something that's got green on it. This one is going to look like this. Whoa, okay. that's too dark. Okay. This one's going to look like this. Okay, I like that. I don't have anything to sop that up. I have to use my hanky. Okay. We've got to shut this thing down. Okay. Well. Okay, everybody. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the YouTube, but you it was a She pleasure. will make it to the YouTube. It was a pleasure. Even though she's covering up her whole book and not letting you see any of it. Oh. It's okay. She's a rookie. <laughs> okay, people. I'm glad you all hung through. I don't know. This may have to be a two-part video because it's probably three hours long, but we're just too excited to be able to That's play right. together. Listen, this is only the second time we've got to actually just one-on-one -on -one play together, so we're really excited. Even though we act like we've known each other for a thousand years, we really haven't. Okay, people. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bird.